The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I want to show you how to edit a block. I've inserted a block into this drawing named Window and uh, what I want to do is make some changes to it so I'm going to double click on it which will open up my Edit Block Definition dialog box and I can choose which block I want to edit but Window is the one that's been selected because that's the one that I had highlighted here so I'm just going to pick on the OK button and you'll see my screen background color change and you'll also notice that the ribbon has changed to Block Editing Tools. Alright, so the way I'm going to edit this block is I'm going to stretch this top piece of the window here up a little bit make this wider and I'm going to use our old friend the stretch command to do this. So I'm going to pick on stretch and remember when we use stretch we want to do a right to left crossing window and select the areas that we want to make changes to. Then we press enter and then we specify a base point. I'm just going to pick at the midpoint here and I'm just going to move my mouse up a little bit. I'm not going to, I could type in an exact distance if I wanted to but since this is just an example I'm just going to come up here and pick. Alright, at this point I can save the block with exactly the same name or I can pick save block as which would allow me to rename the block. Now usually when you make a change you have to make a choice whether you're going to rename it or not. If I rename the block then it just creates a new block so I would maybe call this save block as and rename it as window 2. But if I just pick on save block what it's going to do it's going to redefine redefine the window block and any windows that I've already inserted are going to be redefined to look like the new window. So this is why it's important to decide whether you need to save it with a new name rather than saving it with the existing name because if you if you save it with the existing name it's going to redefine everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick save block which will save it with the uh, existing name and then I'm going to close the block editor. And you'll notice, look at how my window changed. If I come over here to my insert command and I go to window now and I pick OK, you'll see that my window uh, definitely looks different now. Alright, so let's double click on this one right here and uh, let's do a block. So we're going to edit window red and what we're going to do is come up here and do save, save as and I'm going to pick window and I'm going to pick OK and I'm getting a warning here. It says this is already defined do you want to redefine this block? And I'm going to go ahead and pick that and then I'm going to close my block editor. Because I overrode the block named window with this one called window red, it's changed all of them. So that's how you can make these global changes in a drawing that has blocks in it. But you also have to be careful about this because you can really mess things up as well.